Hello, I am Shutopa Ghosh. I have done my schooling from Salt Lake School, Kolkata. Then I have done graduation in statistics from Lady Brabon College. After that, I have done masters in statistics from Calcutta University. Then I joined corporate sector in a company named Ictias. After that, I joined SBI as a junior associate. With the guidance of my college teachers and professors and with the support of my parents as well as my sister, I have secured a rank of 10 in ISS exam 2020. In today's session, I will discuss about the exam pattern of ISS 2020 as well as share my strategies. Now the exam is conducted in two phases, the written and the, and the interview. The written marks is of 1000 marks and the interview is of 200 marks. In written, we have a, a total six papers. The first paper comprises of general English, the second paper, the general uh, studies, and we have four papers of statistics. First two papers are of objective nature, where we have 80 questions, each comprising of 2.5 marks, as well as uh, it has uh, uh, it has negative marking of one third marks. And paper three and paper four of statistics are of descriptive nature. Now, uh, for general English, uh, there are uh, four questions asked. First is of uh, first we have to write a comprehension. First we have to write a paragraph, which is of thirty marks. First we have to write an essay of uh, uh, thirty marks. Then we have to write a paragraph, uh, which is of uh, ten marks. Then we have to write a precy, which again comprises of thirty marks. And then we have uh, questions on vocabs and uh, spotting errors, which comprises of thirty marks. For general English. Uh, for the essay portion as well as the paragraph portion, I have referred to 151 essays uh, by Arihan publication. And for spotting error and uh, the vocab thing, I have been reading newspaper uh, and uh, and for the uh, spotting error, I have, uh, I have used the book uh, named A Plinth to Paramount by Neetu Singh. Now coming to the GS portion. The G, uh, GS portion generally, uh, the GS portion is of 100 marks. Now, uh, generally questions are asked on topics like history, geography, polity, economics and current affairs. Now, for the history thing, uh, 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 almost uh, three, three questions are asked on modern history and uh, two, uh, two questions are asked on ancient and medieval history. For modern history, I have referred to spectrum uh, and for the ancient and medieval in um, medieval part, I have, I have referred to uh, ancient and medieval, medieval India by Poonam Dalal Daiya. Uh, then the, for the geography portion, I have referred to NCRT books and uh, for the current affair portion, I have referred to insights, uh, insight editorial compilation and as well as insight mind maps. And then I have uh, and seeing the previous year's question papers, I have jotted down few important topics like urbanization, climate change, uh, women related issues and made some points uh, and on that basis point and on the on the basis of these points, I could uh, wrote the answers which came on those topics. Now coming to the statistics papers, the paper four, paper one is of objective nature and, in, and it um, has three sections. The first section is of uh, probability and statist statistical methods, the second uh, numerical analysis and the third portion uh, the computer, computer portion. Now for all the four papers I have referred to my graduation and masters notes as well as Gupta Kapoor as a very basic material. Now for uh, paper one, I have practiced problems from uh, for the probability and statistical uh, methods. I have practiced problems from uh, from a uh, from a book named uh, named probability and mathematical statistics by Sahu, as well as uh, seen the solved examples of problems and solutions in mathematical solution in mathematical statistics by Gup by G S C Gupta. Uh, uh, this book can be purchased from uh, websites. Now the computer portion I have referred to uh, uh, fundamental of computers by E. Bala Guruswami. Now and for the numerical analysis I have referred to 
uh, calculus of finite differences and numerical analysis by Gupta, Malik and Chauhan. Uh, I think we need to practice uh, questions uh, for paper 1. So, I have referred to the entrance question papers of BHU and uh, Hyderabad Uni University as well as, as a, I have also referred to the IIT jam questions, gate questions and uh, the entr and the CSIR net uh, question papers as well as uh, the set, ex uh, set question papers, the uh, set uh, exam of various states like Maharashtra state and West Bengal state. Now, uh, the set question papers can be uh, obtained from their respective websites along with the answers keys. Now, coming to paper uh, 2. Now, uh, paper 2 has uh, almost uh, two important uh, topics like the inference and uh, the official statistics. For the inference part, I have referred to graduation notes and master's note as well as Gupta Kapoor. And for practicing questions, I have referred to theory of estimation by Manoj Kumar Srivastava. Now, for the official uh, official statistics, I have referred to the previous year's question papers and had and had analyzed uh, that there are um, mostly the questions were asked on important to topics like national income, inflation, the various index numbers like the CPI, WPI, uh, the periodic labor force. Now, I have referred, uh, referred to the MOSPI website for those, uh, for those topics as well as, uh, as, as well as for the division of MOS MOSPI and its functioning, I have referred to MOSPI website. Now, for paper 3, uh, uh, now for paper 3, uh, I have referred to the econometrics notes of my master's, uh, econometrics no notes of my master's uh, years as and as well as IIT Shalab sir notes and videos which are available in Swam site. Now uh, in paper 2 there is a uh, topic linear model so I have also referred to the uh, I have also referred to the well, I have also referred to Shalab sir notes for linear models as well as his videos which are available in Swam, Swam sites. Now for uh, the sample survey part I have referred to my master's notes of CU and and uh, for numerical practice I have referred uh, for sample survey portion I have referred to IIT Salab sir uh, notes and as well as master notes. For numerical problems I have referred to uh, Podimal Mukhopadhyay book. Now uh, the third section of paper 3 is of applied statistics. I have covered index number and demand analysis from Gupta Kapoor and from time series uh, portion uh, for, the, uh, for the basic part I have referred to Gupta Kapoor and for the advanced part I have referred to e Partshala website and there are videos of uh, the advanced portion like the spectrum analysis in uh, e Partshala site. Now for paper 4, I have chosen 2 sections uh, uh, out, of seven, uh, out of 7 sections. I have chosen uh, vital statistics, demography and SQC. For vital statistics, I have referred to Gupta Kapoor and, uh, and, for, and have practiced numericals from applied statistics uh, by Podimal Mukhopadhyay. For topics like migration, I have referred to a, uh, I have referred to book named uh, I have referred to a book uh, written by Ram and Pathak. Now for the SQC portion, I have referred to my graduation notes and for topics like uh, moving average chart, uh, the cumulative sum chart, the exponentially weighted moving average chart, I have referred to uh, Montgomery. Now I have also referred to the uh, to the website of uh, IGNU for numericals and as well as practice numericals for uh, from applied statistics by Purimal Mukhopadhyay. Now after the written results uh, come, uh, we, are, uh, we are required to fill the DAF form. Almost 60 to 70 percent of the questions of interview questions are asked from DAF. Now uh, I think we need to prepare the DAF very well like uh, we need to know information about the district the the census related information of our dist district 
the various festivals which are happening in our states uh, or surrounding states then uh, the schemes which are run by the central government as well as our respective state governments important places in our states uh, important tourist destinations in our place uh, and also the important personalities which are associated from our institutions and and as well as nobel laureates from our uh, states uh, almost 60 to 70 per percent of the questions are asked from hobbies and uh, related to death and uh, apart from this we need to focus on basic statistics as well as official statistics portion for interview now my inter I have been interviewed uh, this year. I have been interviewed by uh, Sir T C A Anand, and uh, my interview was average. I was asked uh, opinion-based question. I was asked uh, qu questions on my hobbies, like mm, I have mentioned swimming as as my hobby. So they have asked me about the swimmers which are going for the Tokyo Olympics, and as well as uh, their performance in the previous Olympics. Now, uh, and they have also asked me opinion based questions on uh, Atmami Nirbhar Bharat and women empowerment issues. The, uh, the statistics portion, uh, uh, they have also asked me basic statistics questions like that of uh, normal distribution as well as application based uh, question of statistics on COVID related data. Um, and they have also asked me questions on my previous job experience. Uh, now, for uh, the uh, aspirants, I would like to uh, suggest few. I would like to give some advice. Like, uh, I think one should take proper sleep between those three uh, between those three days of examinations. Uh, then uh, there is no point of doing blind guesses in uh, attempting the, the objective papers because uh, this will lead to negative marks and uh, and personally i prefer to answer the num numerical based questions and uh, in spite uh, and personally i prefer to answer uh, numerical based questions than theoretical question because that would have fetched because i thought that would have fetched more marks um, than theory than theoretical problems so and uh, i think one should choose the uh, choose the sections of paper four uh, according to their strengths and interests uh, because i think all the papers are scoring and it depends upon the questions they are asking at that time and i have also seen that uh, despite filling the up the form there is uh, many people do not appear for the exam so i think uh, i would request the aspirants to appear for the exam because uh, since there is no limit uh, of uh, like the civil services exam and one would uh, gain experience in attempting the papers because uh, due to com due to less number of seats it is not possible that everybody would uh, be selected even after giving good exam so i think one should appear and uh, and to analysis their strength and weakness as well as um, how the performance uh, is now i would like to thank dkt for giving me this opportunity to speak and i would li also like to thank dkt for their initiative of bringing out the successive uh, the success stories of aspirants of various competitive exams of um, and not confining themselves to only civil services because last year uh, seeing the toppers interview of iss exam to 2019 uh, that had helped me uh, very much and i wish all the best for uh, future aspirants of iss exam